with John Mechie. And first question goes to Michael Casagrande. Yeah, John, uh, just wondering, is there a revenge factor? Do you feel like there's revenge uh, in line uh, or on the line for you on Saturday at, at LSU? Um, I wouldn't say there's um, a revenge factor. LSU is kind of just one of those. We kind of look at it like they're the next team on the schedule. And to us, the most important game is always the next one. So right now, um, they're the most important game for us. Jeff Spiegel, over to you. John, kind of playing off uh, Michael's question there, this is a team, though, that came to your house last year and beat you and celebrated on your field and celebrated in one of those locker rooms in a uh, very public way. Uh, can, you, can you talk about how much you guys have thought about that and how much that is going to play uh, into the game, if any at all? Um. I think, like you said, yeah, that is definitely something memorable, something we definitely remember, um, something we didn't forget. But um, I feel like our coaches say all the time it's to play with emotion and not be emotional. And I think that's how we're looking at this game. Um, we're excited to play LSU. They're a really good team. They have a lot of talent like we do. Um, so I think this weekend we're really excited to go um, to Louisiana and face them. John Zener, you're up. Yeah, John, how, how much has your, your own team's secondary improved as the season's gone along, particularly young guys like Malachi who have had to kind of learn on the job? Um, as far as the defense as a whole, um, the defense as a whole is coming together. Um, the young guys like Malachi, even Battle, um, Brian Branch, all of them, like they're coming together really well. Um, the defense is playing really solid, and um, we're, we're excited about that. Tony Sakalas, over to you. John, you guys have a string of games on the road or you know, possibly neutral side games as well. Just uh, what is that like playing multiple games in a row on the road? Um, it, does, it doesn't really affect us where we play. Um, we're always ready to play whenever and wherever. So as far as um, our com upcoming games being away, um, I think we'll be ready for it just like we've been ready for every game we've played so far. Brett Hudson, go ahead. Jaleel Billingsley's gotten more of an opportunity to, to get in the game and uh, make some catches. Just how skilled is he as a, as a pass catcher and as a route runner? Um, Jaleel, Jaleel is extremely skilled. Um, somebody, especially being so close to Jaleel, somebody I'm personally excited about um, for him to get on the scene and for him to um, be able to showcase what he can do more because there is a lot more than he can do that he can do that um, has not yet been seen. Steven Smith, you're up. Hey, John, uh, just speaking of guys that are really skilled, Javon Baker didn't catch a pass, but he had a really good block on a Devontae Smith screenplay. Just talk about the effort right there from the freshman. Um, Baker is, is one of the um, guys that we know is ready and is extremely talented, um, has a high ceiling and um, knows what he's doing out there. And we have a lot of um, faith and trust in him being out there. So also excited about um, him being able to contribute to, um, to the offense and the team. Haley Sutton, you're up. Hey, John. Um, one of the things Coach Shabin talked about was the senior class and kind of the mark that they have left on Alabama, particularly this year. And I was just wondering if you could talk about um, the kind of leadership that they bring to this year's team. Um, the senior class and, and the leaders on this team, as the, as far as the seniors um, are amazing, I don't think we could have asked for better um, seniors and leaders um, with guys like Smitty, um, Naj, um, Wood, uh, Dylan on defense. I think um, I definitely don't think as a team um, we could have asked for better leaders. AP Stedham, over to you. Hey, John. Uh, John, what kind of um, distinguishes the cornerback for LSU, uh, Stingley? Um, LSU and Stingley, they have good players all around. Um, they're all good, just like um, many teams in the SEC. But as far as preparing for individual players, um, we don't really do that. We kind of just prepare for the team as a whole and their defense as a whole. So um, we never really look at um, individuals like that. 
These will be the final few. Back over to Michael Casagrande. Have you noticed defensive uh, defenses locking in more on Devontae? Uh, and is that creating more opportunities for you in the passing game? Or how has that relationship gone in the last few weeks? Uh, defenses can try and lock in on Devontae, I don't think. Um, it's kind of hard to stop somebody like that. Um, personally, I think um, Smitty. I Personally, I think Smitty is the best player in college football right now. But um, as far as that, I would say it's, everything's kind of just been the same. Um, I will continue to do what I can to help the team win, and Smitty will continue to do what he does day in and day out. We'll finish up with Jeff Spiegel. John, can you talk about Mac's ability to throw the deep ball? He's been so incredibly accurate all year long. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mac um, has been extremely accurate. Um, in fact, on my last touchdown catch this last game um, on the chop route, actually, really I had only seen the ball leave his hands and land in mine and kind of lost it in between in the light. But that um, says a lot about his accuracy, um, especially throwing the deep ball. Thank you, John. We'll be bringing up the next player shortly.